Welcome everyone, my name is Jack and this is Rooms the Unsolvable Puzzle. It's a puzzle game based off the sliding tile mechanic. You may have I played the car version of it, probably the most popular Flash game, or one of the most popular I've seen, where you gotta get the red car out of the car park and you slide the cars around. Think that kind of sliding tile game. Uh, we're gonna jump straight into it. I've played just the first couple of levels and uh, the premise is pretty simple, but it's starting to introduce some mechanics and we'll see how it goes. So I've done the first uh, six levels. This must have just been the cutscene that I just watched. Uh, but we're exploring this house and I've got this magic lamp that talks to me and I'm discovering the secrets. So what are those on the floor? Pieces of wood, young lady. No need to concern yourself with that. I call Anne. All right. So when we're in a tile, we can move it, but we can only move tiles that we're in. These floorboards, though, look a bit odd. Oh, something clicked into it. That's interesting. When a piece is colored, oh, I can walk down here. Interesting. When a piece is colored, it means that you can uh, walk into it. Oh, sorry. When a piece is colored, not that you can walk into it. It's in the right location. So I'm wondering if I go up. So that's the right spot for that one. But there won't be any floor if I... Interesting. The colors are... I kind of confusing at times. Do you feel like it's supposed to go somewhere? But it's like, oh, that's not where I thought it was supposed to. So when it's colored, it's where you're supposed to be. It's the final position. But you might have to move it from that position to win. And this is the amount of moves I think we've got to get full marks. Now, telephones allow us to teleport. Wherever the key's here. So I have to move it over twice. Ah, oh, now I'll take the telephone back and move this one around and down. There we go. Alright. We'll play this for a little bit, see how we find it. See how challenging it gets. It came out about a month ago and it has pretty positive reviews on Steam. Does different color phones mean anything? It's like I can move... I can move the room, but I, can I walk? I can't walk across that. That's interesting. I thought I could before. Okay, so can we can we restart the level? I don't want to lose those little markers. Now let's go here. Does that count as a move? Or maybe we just had four to start with. So we can, we can also click on our little lamp who talks us for a hint. But I feel like I gotta move it. Oh, this is. I need to be up in here. Okay, I think I've got it. We'll, re we'll restart it. I think I need to move this one across one. Then ring. Then come here, move it down. But that's the wrong type of room. Oh, but now I can pull that one up. Okay, now it makes sense. Grab the key, everything's in position, we can walk through safely. Okay. Getting a little trickier now. Got the key. So I got teleporting, teleporting phones. Radio. Let's go. Everybody's, no, everyone who's been with my channel for a while knows how great I am with puzzles. <laughs> Through the roof. I guess we go up and around. Do we have to make the phone conversation? Oh, and then bring this one up out of the road. And go back to this one and drop down. Okay, it's starting, okay, now I'm starting to see some of the concepts. We'll see if it, you know, develops more and becomes a bit more interesting. If it just stays with these kind of concepts, probably not going to find it too thrilling. We're very 30 puzzle pieces, we've got an achievement as well. Huzzah. Level 10. The first five were just tutorial based. Okay, two sets of phones so the colours can change. So we'll go to green. I don't really have much of a choice where I move this, really. 
Oh, but I can move over to red. I need to move red down to here. That should be the colored. Yeah. Now I take green and move it down. Then jump back to green and go across to red. Okay, cool. Wonder if I can speed up the animations. Just because they, they could be, I guess, or playing it, playing with the game for a while could be considered quite slow. But I guess for a puzzle game, you're not really trying to play a puzzle game for speed. Possibly just the mood I'm in. I've been playing a lot of The Witcher today and really enjoying that. Right. There's a picture on this one. You found fame and fortune with the puzzle. This is the guy who's kind of workshop we're going through. And it felt like you could create anything. This magical puzzle piece he found creates the magical telephones. Then he noticed that the puzzle piece got a little dimmer after each use. That's probably not good. It was only a little, but it didn't worry him. That picture significantly got dimmer. Alright, shows us all the rooms that are in the right spots to start with. I presume we can go down into the spot here, but we couldn't climb up into it. I saw this before. What is it? They are pieces of a cursed puppet. When the rooms are all connected, the pieces will be two. Oh, the puppet on the ground. The magical puzzle piece and the cursed crumpet? What nonsense are you on about? Where am I going to move? What goes here? Because that piece doesn't go there. And that piece doesn't go there. Hmm. Oh, I've, I've got this puppet with me. I don't know what to do with it. So, if I ring that phone, I'm just in this room here. I can move that up. I can't move this. So I presume I have to move this one over to the right. But, oh, I can't jump down there because there's no ladder. Let's restart the level. Let's see, I want to see how many pieces we can get, like how, how quickly we can do it. Blue up, red down. So blue to go up. And then red to go down. No, no, ring, ring the phone, lady. But it says that's not the final location for that room. Hmm, let's ask a little hint. Oh, okay. That's the final shape you want. I wonder if I've moved that bottom one across. There's still five more moves, or a lot of moves, to do. But from here, I can't... Ah, oh, I can. So I think I need to get this... one of these pieces over here. I need to get the... Try to find it out. I need to get a ladder piece here so I can climb up and across. And this... Or a phone piece. But there's no piece with a... The only piece without a right wall is this one and this one. So I feel like that's got to get up there. But that means if that's up there, I can't crawl into it because the wall's on the other side. And if I'm here, I, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, unless I move the room. But that, that's, then, then it's not in its final position. And there's no way I can get up to there. That's the final spot for that room. Okay. Problem is I can't, I need to figure out how to move these rooms when there's... Okay, I'm gonna move this room across one. Ring the phone, lady.
Oh no, don't go through it just yet. I lied. Does this room need to be down? It does. But if I'm here, I can't go anywhere. Hmm. Oh wait, I could ring the blue one. Move that up and around. Because that's not in the right spot. Okay, that's two. Oh, then we go down here and move that across and then we move the ladder up. Ah, okay. I'm not going to redo it because just to get the extra marks, so it's going to take me ages to get again. Okay, so I need to remember that you don't always want to climb into space, you want to move the whole room. I forgot kind of it's a sliding room puddle. Right, more rooms. That two there? What was the two mean? I guess those are teleporting wardrobes to switch a room. Magic calls to switch us rooms like, oh. Oh gosh. Switch us a rooms location. I need to move this room down and across. So I can get to the, get to the ladder. Well, I lost me a piece there. Okay, okay, we're getting it. Slowly, very slowly. Two. That's better than nothing. I can see something in the in the background there. Right, let's move up. I guess switch those and then take the whole ladder the whole way around. Yeah, seven moves. Might as well do it. Go say if anything, very epic music. Now I don't wanna switch the rooms. Oh I, oh, I do, but then I want to bring it round. Oh, wait. That switches the room, but I stay in the same location. Oh, so if that's the case... Oh, boy. If that's the case... But now I'm over here. Oh, and then I walk across and I switch it back. Oh, gosh. Okay, now it's getting pretty mind-bending. The rooms change, but I stay the same. It's not that I'm switching two positions of rooms. Climb up. Do you, do you notice the number of my head decreases as you move rooms? Well, this one here. Well, the puzzles can be solved within the t move as long as you get them in the correct order. Uh, how, how could that be? All we need to do is get up there. I feel like we need to do a shuffle. I'm gonna take this room up there with me. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have to move up there. I could have just moved straight across. Right, move this one to the left. Across. All right, to victory we go. Right, let's move more puzzles. I presume you have to unlock puzzles with pieces later on. That's pretty good. Let's see if we get through the next couple. There's a little goblin or something coming up ahead. I'm just going to go down. Double transfer. Um... I feel like all I need to do is go across and then ring the phone and then switch the rooms. Because the phone's the ones that move me. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. Okay, cool. Full marks that time. Phones switch me. Wardrobes just move me. Uh, 
Alright, this is the one that's gonna do my head in. Uh, it's not really what I want. Okay, I'm gonna have a head. I, I can't figure this one out. Okay, so we need to have that shape. This one should be over here, probably. Yeah. If this one comes over here. Now here. Oh, that, that would move me. Um... Switch the rooms here. I want to bring that one down. Oh, this one's up here? Oh, because then you can climb down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, that was very easy once I got to the end. All right, what's this two door here? Hide and seek. It's a puppet. Make sure you don't wake him up. So I do that. Oh gosh, the puppet explodes. That's kind of grim. Okay. Oh. Oh my, it's awake. Careful, we don't want to be in the same room as it. Well, how do I avoid that? Uh, like, it, it's, it's... Wait, why'd he move? I'm a bit lost. Why does it move? Is it trying to chase me? Or does it move every now and again? That was kind of odd. Right, I'll do a couple more levels. Maybe one or two. And not the next mansion. Maybe we'll do this mission and we'll do one for the next mansion as well. Well, we'll see how we go. That's empty heart. That bodes well. Room is here. We need to bring, like, this room or this room over. Crawl up, bring that across. Alright, I think I've got this one here. We're going to bring this one across. Then we're going to go to the phone. Fine. And we're going to go... Oh, really? You have to go up and up. Oh, I've... Hmm. Oh, I got it! Ah, it's just a couple extra steps from what I thought. Jeez, I don't know if people come up with these puzzles or if, it, if it's a computer, but... Man, some of them are pretty tricky. Okay, so we've done all, like, all of these. We've nearly finished the mansion. If I go back, though... Uh, we had several different mansions to play from, and they've all got different looks to them. Well, we'll jump into the second one and see what we find in here. And there's also like a, an underground basement. Has anyone left the room? The puppet collapsed and he ball? Sounds like a spoiler. Something just didn't feel right. Perhaps she thought there was more danger in the mansion than she realized. That's kind of a creepy puppet, like, a bit of the heebie jeebies going on. Fire in the hole. There's a bomb. Get ready to run before you touch it. So if I just run straight through? Or... Run down! Okay, so it blows up. Ah! It blows up weaker walls.
I need to... I need to move this room. I don't think I can do that. So let's do that and then teleport back. Cool. The bomb place still exists. So I need to move this down. Is that the fan again? Then go across. Click that and run away. Very good. Cool. Well, this is Rooms the Unsolvable Puzzle. I thought it'd be just a quick video to highlight a puzzle game. Like, I don't play too many of these types of puzzle games. They're kind of not my strong point. Hey, but if you like puzzle, especially the sliding kind of game, oh, look at the pretty cursor. Ooh. Then you should check this game out for yourself. It's on Steam at the moment. Yeah, it's been out for about a month. Uh, it's, a, I can't remember how much it retails for. I think it's around a 10, 10 US, roughly. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.